What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man will only take so much disrespect. And it's only a matter of time before he finally decides today's the day. Ah, gentlemen, once again, the gene pool has had strag DNA removed from it. Now, this article was published on the 12th of March. Florida man, offlines, girlfriend, and her two adult daughters, unfortunately wounds her 11-year-old granddaughter. Now, children, let's go ahead and count this out, shall we? One strag, ha ha ha. Two strags, ha 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 ha. Three strags, ha 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 ha. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! A Florida man is accused of fatally shooting his girlfriend and her two adult daughters in what is reported a quote-unquote domestic incident in the early hours of Tuesday, authorities said. Johnny Bernard Brown, 46, is also accused of wounding his girlfriend's 11-year-old granddaughter who called 911 to report the triple shooting. The incident occurred at around 2 a.m. at a residence in Lawdy, about 40 miles southwest of Jacksonville. According to Bradford County Sheriff's Office Chief, Deputy Brad Smith, authorities responded to the scene after receiving multiple phone calls from the girl. After arriving at the residence, deputies located three female adults with multiple gunshot wounds. All three victims were later identified as 49-year-old Quanique Robinson, 27-year-old Denisha Sims, and 25-year-old Winshay Roddy, all who were quote-unquote DOA, Smith said. Now, isn't this complete strag behavior. These three women do not even have the same last name. Wow. Did you expect anything different? Brown, who was found in the front yard with several cuts, was later named as a suspect in the shooting. He initially told investigators he was having an argument with the woman when one of them pulled out a knife and started to attack him. And that's when he shot them, Smith told First Coast News. Okay, if someone attacks you with a knife and you shoot them, that is 100% self-defense, which is what he should be arguing. However, Brown's story has since quote unquote changed a bit to where he had actually pursued them into the room that they were found deleted in, Smith said. It does not matter if he pursued them. Once they started actually cutting him with that knife, all bets were off. There were still threats at that point. 
Any one of them could have picked up that knife and continued attacking him. Both Brown and the 11-year-old child were taken to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Quote, unquote, he had some minor puncture wounds and there was also a slash on his bicep that did require stitching, according to Smith. So they're willing to say that, yes, this man was actually attacked and injured, but yet somehow he's still not able to defend himself. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Brown is facing three termination charges and one attempted termination charge. He is currently being held in Alachua County, but is expected to be extradited back to Bradford County after his initial court appearance on Wednesday, officials said. Well, well, well. A good lawyer would be able to argue that since this man had wounds, that yes, he actually was defending himself. It doesn't matter if he pursued them or not. Any one of those women could have picked up that knife and uh, continued attacking him. Hopefully, hopefully he can get a good enough lawyer to make that argument for him. What more can be said, ladies? They decided to bring a knife to a gunfight. Yeah, let me reiterate. They decided to pull the hot butter knife of doom and he decided to pull the problem solving pistol. <laughs> hey, ultimately it is what the fuck it is. I don't care what anybody says. Gentlemen, you have the right to defend yourself against aggressive strags. Far too many men have ended up in the hospital or in the grave because they refuse to defend themselves. Why? Because, well, a man is never supposed to hit a woman or do anything to a woman no matter what. Yeah, right. Hell fucking no, uh-uh. Anyway, let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, went down in a home. I'm going to give it a 10. Method of execution. Obviously, the problem-solving pistol. Got to give that a five. Psychological impact. Unfortunately, there had to be the young girl who had to witness what happened. So I'm going to give psychological impact of 40. And for the brutality factor, he popped all three of them multiple times. So I got to give this a 30. So Johnny, boom, boom, Brown gets a score of 85. Now let's go ahead and circle back around to something. First and foremost, the girlfriend, 49 years old. The guy, 46 years old. So we can all pretty much surmise what was going on in that house. Mm -hmm. Plus, she's got her two adult daughters living there and the granddaughter. Oh yeah, you know good and damn well they were running over top of that man like no tomorrow. Unfortunately, this man was more than likely in a step dummy situation. Nobody has the same last name, which is all too common in the American black community. Yeah, yeah. This woman had two adult daughters who more than likely she ran both of those baby daddies off. But once again, that is simply par for the course in the American black community. So she decided to get this guy. He comes in, more than likely tries to do right by her. However, 
What were they arguing about? Well, all the evidence points to more than likely he was shacking up with her. He did not perform the way she wanted him to. So more than likely, she was going to decide, you know what? I'm going to impose my will on you by putting you out of my house. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Fellas, never end up in a scenario to where you're moving into a woman's residence. Don't do it. Because that woman, one, she's never going to respect you. And two, she's going to throw that in your face every chance she gets. I got power over you. Guess what? I'm going to wield said power. And if I can't do nothing, guess what? I'm going to call the state-sponsored goon squad. Yeah. However, in this case, she decided, you know what? I'm going to pull a blade on you. So he decided, okay, I'm going to exceed that and pull the burner. It is what it is. It is what it truly is. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Let me know what you guys think. And for you women out there who still believe that you're going to be able to use the system, especially against what you believe are compromised black men, you better understand this and you better understand this crystally damn clear. <laughs> the power you think you have over that quote unquote compromised black man that is going out. Feminism and the idea that you can use the Duluth model as your sword slash shield against said man, that's going out right along with it. Because I'm going to reiterate a simple point that you women refuse to understand. When a man no longer cares about the consequences of his actions, he will act. And sometimes those actions will come with lethal damn results. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out. Welcome. Murder on my mind, yeah. Losing all my hope, yeah. I'ma do the crime, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill.